gentleman, Mr. Farenthal, is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And, uh, Ms. Ingram, I appreciate your being here. I know that is not the uh, most comfortable seat to be in in uh, Washington, D.C. I want to kind of step back and take a 30,000-foot view of what is going on right now. now when people think about the IRS, and I would imagine your primary responsibility is to collect taxes, the bulk of which is income tax. Is that correct? That is the primary purpose, yes. And the IRS relies on people to voluntarily comply with the income tax law. Sure, we have the audits here and there, but the vast majority of what the IRS does is based on the public complying with the laws, correct? Yes, it is a cornerstone of our democracy. Now, with the current scandals that uh, that have, are going on, it is my feeling that the American public is losing confidence in uh, the government. You had the, uh, some of the le leaks within the IRS with respect to uh, member lists of organizations. You had the whole targeting scandal. Do you think uh, these miscues, and I am I'm, I'm trying to pick a benign word here, uh, have a negative impact on how the Americans perceive the entire government, the IRS in particular? Uh, without speaking to particular um, examples, I am deeply saddened as a veteran of the civil service um, at anything that damages the confidence of the American people in and, tax administration. And, and it does would you agree so it is inappropriate for the IRS to, uh, to share information with anybody for political purposes? And would, would you agree with that? Uh, I don't think political purposes should ever be part of our work. And, in fact, that was one of the articles of impeachment against President Nixon was uh, it eventually led to his resignation, was a, was a charge that he was improperly using that information. Let me go to, so I, I think we have got a problem here that needs to be addressed in a big picture way. I also want to talk for a second about data security. Uh, as a former computer consultant, I know no matter how uh, good a job you do at securing your own network, once you open up a hole for somebody else to get in and share data with them, uh, you can no longer really have control over uh, the ultimate security there. So despite, assuming the IRS were perfect in this age, I don't think there is such a thing as perfect cybersecurity. But as you start sharing personally identifiable information, including uh, potential medical information with third parties, is there any anything in place to where if somebody is not being careful with that, you can uh, cut them off? I mean, how do you deal with the security from your third party folks that you are sharing data with? I think there are a couple of pieces to keep in mind um, about the situation. One is um, I think we would be glad to provide a more detailed uh, briefing um, uh, later on uh, the whole data security yeah. at the IRS piece, and I think that could be arranged. Uh, and and that is something I would like to do. Okay, but you, you do good. agree that as, as more people have access to the information, the more difficult security gets? Uh, which is why in the arrangement of how we were going to share data in this instance, we insisted that the data not be displayed outside of the machine okay. um, to individuals looking at a screen or the people helping them. All right. And then I want to get to something the ranking member said. He was talking about the government shutdown. And, and you mentioned you uh, furloughed quite a few people in yours. My understanding is the reports are 91 percent of the IRS has been furloughed. Does that sound right to you? Um, I am not an expert on the details. It sounds roughly right. And uh, my understanding, again, is that uh, the people who take the uh, checks and cash them for people who will be filing on their last minute, October 5th, uh, are there, but the people who process the uh, refunds for the people who are owed them are not. Are you aware of that? Um, I am not an expert on the criteria for which people stay or not, but there is a life and property All right. and aspect to that. I appreciate it. And I promised Mr. Gowdy I would give him my uh, last minute because he didn't get everything. So I will yield to Mr. Gowdy. And thank you very much.